Hey, this is Chris and Evan here with Haven Lighting, and today we're gonna to show you how to wire a landscape lighting system. Now, we've got everything laid out on the table here um, that we're gonna to need today, and Evan's gonna take over and show you how all this is wired and laid out. For this installation, you will need your low voltage transformer, your lights, some waterproof connectors, 12 gauge direct burial landscape wire, wire strippers, preferably with crimping capability, and your tool of choice to bury the wire when we're all finished. The first thing we'll need to do is place the lights around your home where you'd like them. Secondly, you'll need to find a place to mount the transformer. If you have our 9 series or Stratus transformer, make sure there is decent Wi-Fi signal as well. Our transformers run off a regular electrical outlet. Next, we'll need to run the wire. Starting at the transformer, run the wire for each line of lights leaving a loop at each light. This will ensure that the wire will have enough slack and won't put strain on your connections or your lights. We recommend as a general rule not to exceed 80 watts of power per run from the transformer. If your run ends up being 200 feet or more, give us a call and we'll help you configure your system. Once you know where you want your lights to go, go ahead and cut the wire at each loop. Split each side down the middle, making sure no copper is exposed. and remove about one to two inches of insulation using the wire strippers. Do the same with the wire coming from the light. Twist the wire to make it more manageable. Once this is done, use our waterproof wire connectors. Grab one wire coming from the transformer, one from the light, and one from the rest of the line that you've laid. With our system, it doesn't matter which side of the wire you choose, making it super easy. Do the same for the other side of the wire. For an in-depth tutorial on how to use our waterproof wire connectors, check out the link in the video description. Now that you have your first light wired up, repeat the process for the remaining lights on the run. Once you've reached the end of the run, you will have only two ends to connect instead of three. The process, however, is exactly the same. Take one side of the wire coming from the transformer and one side coming from the light and connect them using our waterproof wire connectors. Repeat the process for the other side and you're ready to bury. So once you've got all of your system laid out, all the lights wired, everything running back, and you've got your wire left to connect to the transformer, you're going to strip the wire back and open the transformer up and connect all your wires back into the transformer. And we will show you how to do that now. With all of your lights wired up and ready to go, it's time to connect each run to your transformer. Our Stratus transformer is a two zone transformer, meaning you have two zones of control. What lights go in what zones depends on how you wire it. As you can see on our Stratus transformer, we have three sets of wire terminals. One set is labeled common, while the other two are labeled zone one and zone two respectively. For zone one, put one end in common and the other end in zone one. It doesn't matter which. For zone two, put one end in common and the other end in zone two. Now repeat the process for the remaining light runs and you're all set. So it's that simple. If you have any questions, give us a call or come visit us at havenlighting.com. Thanks for watching.